Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're looking at a John Doe, unidentified male. I don't know if they have a name for him or not, but sometimes they have a name for the John Doe's, but I'm not sure what the name is. I'll look it up later. Um, he was found July 11, 1995, Spokane, Washington. He died two or three months before that. Um, he drowned to death. They don't know how old he was. He was like between 18 and 40. He could have been any age between there. He was about 5'11", and he weighed about 160 pounds, and he had brown hair. So he was wearing um, high lace-up boots, a uh, brand name as Corcoran. Size not stated, I don't know why. A pair of possibly black colored socks. Uh, light blue denim pants with a brand name listed as Rustler. There was 35 cents in pennies located in the front pocket with no other coins present. A pair of red slightly meshed undershorts, a dark colored t-shirt size medium, and brand name of Eddie Bauer. So they found him entangled in tree branches, the North Bank Spokane River, approximately 20, 22 100 West Fall Street, he had drowned. The body was in an advanced stage of decompos decomposition. He was fully dressed. His fingerprints were not obtainable. How do you drown with all your clothes on? Dental examination was done and all dental information submitted to the Washington State Patrol. Um, they couldn't figure out who he was. And I was trying to find somebody and I looked at Canada and they had th these three guys went missing, but it's way, way far away. It's way over on the right-hand side, but missing since March 17th, 1995, and that's when they this person drowned, and this guy's about 5'10", 150 pounds, and this guy's 5'11", about 160 pounds, 154, that's close to 160. Brown hair, blue eyes. See... It looked to me like, wow, it could have been him, but they were at the East Shore Marina in Pickering, and so they've been drinking, they went down to the beach looking for adventure, they think they might have fell off the motorboats and drowned, and I was like, well, that would make them fully clothed, because they didn't have life jackets, right? And I was thinking, I bet that's him, but... No, because the East Shore Marina and where they got on the boats was on the right-hand side of the map. And he's found way over on the left-hand side of the map, right? So I guess it probably isn't him. So I thought I had him for a minute. I was like, oh, this has got to be this John Doe. Right height, right weight, right color hair, fully clothed, would have fell off the boat, would have drowned right about the same time, but not in the same area, you know, I don't know, so, yeah, they would have had to travel really far to get over there. I don't know. So, that's all I know. That's the closest I could come. I went through the United States trying to find it, and I thought, well, maybe Canada, because they're way up there, but I don't know. I don't think so. But anyway, you have any idea who it is? You know anything? Contact the authorities. There's a phone number. I'm sure it's not the same um, detective person at this time as it was back then but you can contact the phone number and try to get a hold of them and let them know if you know of anything because I don't know who it could be but it's really sad and then I found out the three boys went and disappeared and they were all having a good time and yeah because he's six foot two but it can't be him anyway. So I don't know why I'm still looking at it going. He's five foot nine. But he's five foot ten, so that's close to it. 
But I don't know why I'm still looking at it thinking, well, maybe it's him, because there's just no way. There's just no way. And so I don't know who it could be, because I didn't see anybody else. I didn't see anybody missing in 1995 in, that, in Spokane, Washington. So I don't know. Maybe somebody wasn't reported missing. Maybe it's somebody that you know or family member that didn't get reported missing in that area. So I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Prayers for the families and loved ones of this John Doe and of these young lads that went and disappeared and probably drowned in Canada. But like I said, it's on the wrong side of the map. I guess I could show you that, because this is Spokane, Washington, right? But so we'll look at Spokane, Washington, and pull it up really quick. I say really quick, but it's been six minutes already. You're like, whoa, I've been on this video forever, forever. Like as long as commercials, half as long as watching TV commercials. And my, look how, so beautiful, so beautiful. I don't know what maybe he was, I don't know, maybe he's drinking. So I'm trying to zoom out and my, my internet's not the best. Pay way too much for it. So, so here they are, way over left hand side of the map and the ones that went missing came from way over here so there's no way that this would be those boys because they went missing way over here anyway it's very sad anyway prayers for all of them and hopefully they'll find out who this is and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel have a great day bye bye